Hello my friends, Tario here from Gaming in a Daydream. I hope you are all keeping well and thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. Now, uh, as this is the first time that I play this mod and as always, if uh, you have seen any of my videos before, we're going to be playing with uh, Spain because I'm Spanish and that's how, uh, how we go. So, I'm going to show you here the uh if you start with uh, spain you know the great war uh, spain was uh, neutral it didn't take part on it so uh, the actually the the conditions the victory conditions that you have you just have to keep what you have and you don't really need you're not forced to join the allies or the axis uh, uh, to to get anything uh, uh, out of it so that the with uh, these uh, countries that were neutral at the time, you can actually choose whatever the uh, the objective is gonna be for you. Now uh, I started. Uh, I'm gonna show you now just uh, how I started. Uh, I have played a few turns and I will get into that uh, campaign. Uh, but first, I want to show you the the beginning. And uh, as the developers uh, uh, say that it's uh, better to play I took their advice and uh, I chose the campaign difficulty in very hard and the battle difficulty in Iron Man if you place this in Iron Man it says that the, the AI is gonna cheat a lot and in very hard it already cheats <laughs> uh, I will show you uh, talk a, a little bit about that in a minute so let's uh, let's get into it there's very cool loading screens actually in this mode there's a ton of them a ton okay so need diplomacy changes blah 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 it tells you about the the uh, about the mode you can pause and read it if you want I just want to show you here how you start so uh, diplomacy wise we are not at war with anybody uh, we are trading with the United Kingdom and we have a ton of possibilities to to trade with the uh, other factions and everybody is neutral with us nobody hate us we have a, a little good uh, relationship with the uk because we are trading and that's it so you can choose what you're gonna do what i did in my first turn actually is declare war on portugal <laughs> because i was afraid that maybe they were gonna uh, do an alliance with great britain that uh, historically they're always very good relations with with them and then we can't exp expand and i wanted to test the battles etc and portugal is you know is the the the, the easy target because it's our neighbor is next door so after that who you want to go against well no idea i would really like to get uh, gibraltar to uh, gibraltar espanol get it back to spain but uh, doing that you know you're gonna 
declare war on the whole allies uh, with France as well. So we have a, a double uh, front on our sides and uh, we would need a very powerful navy. Uh, and we start with one uh, cargo ship and we can only have five. So you are very limited on what you can do in there. So what I did in my playthrough is uh, I right now in the the look at this is so so funny this the the, the spice son suyos. Uh, and when you click to to move it, it, it moves like a like a a, a puppet like a Sesame Street uh, puppet you know <laughs> it's so funny I love it and I start the building I don't know. The what is very very difficult very very difficult very different to any any other mod are the uh, the technologies because you know we are now in 1914 so there's a ton of stuff we start with almost nothing research it and we have to study a ton of stuff so I'm gonna go to my playthrough and I'm gonna show you what I did I've been recruiting uh, a ton of uh, Soldiers, etc., to reach the, the war against the, against Portugal. Portugal is one single region, and it already cheats because I don't know how they can maintain the, the armies that they have. But anyway, uh, I get back to you in a sec when I get into my into my campaign proper. Here, I just wanted to show you the start of it. We have nothing. Uh, let me show you the list. So we have 400 men in here, which are line infantry we have these guys in madrid we have some uh, artillería de campo some artillery there are it says accuracy 50 but i didn't find it very very accurate in battle we have here in an island the marines infantería de marina and i actually i did uh, recruit a vessel and take them out take them to the to the peninsula and then we have here another 400 men and that's it no ships except the the cargo the cargo ship that i just showed you in there and we are getting 88 from from that so you can see the trade we have coffee we have cotton we have wheat oil coal lumber that's what we are trading tea and copper and uh what is the most oil is the the most expensive but anyway i catch up with you in a second when i get into my my campaign proper all right so welcome welcome back and just to say uh, we start the uh the campaign in uh, june early june 1914 which is turn 12 and i'm actually at uh, turn 31 right now so what i've done is a uh, you know, I've been researching like uh, mortars and stuff like that. And what I did, I sent my uh, spy to check what they had. Uh, I will leave you with a, a battle. We have a battle in here. You can see Battle of Spain, December 1914, victory over Portugal. So Portugal actually came toward us before I did. And uh, we had that battle. I damaged them a lot. And then... I w went after them before they left the uh, the country and uh, could they start the replenishing etc. They already they already have a full stack in here, almost full stack. Have another general in there, and they are recruiting just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with the uh, the first battle in here. It's a uh, seven minutes more or less. It's a uh, 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 battle replay so you can see how the battles are that I you know they, they're pretty pretty amazing what I did actually is recruit a ton of uh, artillery since they had a ton of infantry so now they have uh, quite a few mortars but they don't have a uh, obus or, or anything like that so what I did you can see here uh, I changed one but the, the first battle that you're gonna you're gonna see now there are four field artillery, artilleria de campo, and three obus. Three obus that they are not that accurate, but uh, these obus are very good um, with explosive cells 
and these others are pretty good against the, the uh, infantry actually and we have our general Miguel Primo de Rivera and we have some mortars and this I just uh, I just recruited this is uh, the heavy obus heavy obuses and and we are going towards uh, Lisbon and the rest is all infantry so you can see I had quite a lot of artillery and it paid off because I really kicked the butts with that so what I'm doing is sending okay. reinforcements uh, that they are cavalry the cavalry I believe well they can shoot from mount uh, mounted and I believe you can dismount them as well and these guys are 200 200 uh, no 160 oh they didn't replenish completely well doesn't matter uh, I'll leave you with the with the battle now before anything is around seven minutes and I catch up with you in a sec.
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the battle. What do you think about it? This uh, a lot of fireworks, really. It's uh, uh, something different to to the original Napoleon. There's a lot of uh, explosions everywhere and all that. But anyway, so in the end, uh, Portugal actually they didn't join uh, anybody after I declared war on them. Uh, they are war with me. They are trading with the Austro-Hungarian and the uh, United Kingdom, and that's uh, and that's it. Now I'm at war with Lisbon, and I'm trading with everybody that I can. Austro-Hungarian, the f with France, Italy, uh, the Germans, the U United Kingdom, with Greece, and with Russia, and we are getting uh, a ton of money in trade we have two trade notes right now the ministers you have elections in here so you can change i lower this i always do in most of my campaigns i try to lower the uh, the tax to have a, a, a higher rate of uh, of growth now uh, and now i'm going after lisbon and the idea is when we take portugal the we will take it eventually the idea is just I'm gonna keep neutral and I'm gonna start researching as much as possible. Now you know you can have tanks later on. Uh, there's a ton of uh, stuff in here and a ton of units. Look at that. I can't I can't recruit anything, almost anything right now. I'm still building here the small barracks. This is the the number the tier two. And then you need uh, to research a ton of stuff. You have a uh, ametralladoras ligeras like um, machine guns and all that and we will get tanks eventually i don't know if it's uh, in here but so there's a, a ton of stuff that uh, that you can do so uh what I i'm gonna do though this is just a, a first uh, showcase i'll show you my navy in here they are all repairing now and we had a uh, this is the biggest one España class dreadnought battleship uh, look at the range 2000 and uh, very good hull strength now they are repairing then we have an armor cruiser i uh, had a pre dreadnought battleship uh, and a light cruiser so these four i send them up and actually the navy that they had sailed forward and uh, we had a, a naval battle in here that is what i'm going to leave you at the end of the video that is, is like nine minutes uh, battle something like that it takes longer with the naval battles to to things to happen and i want to show you the the, the ships i'm not talking in there it's just a, a battle replay but uh you know that's like nine minutes i will leave that for the end so what i did after that def after defeating the battles they had a transport ship covering the port so i went with the with the fleet and uh encircle the uh the port and then i moved uh this uh, army that i sent from spain to, to 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 push them out so i could destroy them and it was just a transport ship so at the end of the video it's just a few seconds you will see that i shot him it went boom <laughs> and that's it so we took control of the port and that's w that's the end of the portuguese navy we're not gonna be worrying about them i took the this uh, coal uh, trade note that was uh, empty so there are my cargo ships i'm sending another one that's the third one this is the fourth one that i kept where, where it was and i have another one in here with some uh, what was this copper with some copper and that's it you can have only five so that's the five that i have now i'm thinking that after <coughs> taking uh, Portugal, maybe uh, going against Britain, I would need to build a big navy because uh, that's how they can they can hurt me uh, quite a lot. And I don't really know what everybody else has in here. Uh, they have already four ships in there. They have a ton of uh, of guys in here, but I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Belgium already fell. See the Germans pushed over. Maybe you can hear my kids are outside uh, playing. Wah! <laughs> you know, we're in the Christmas holidays. 
and my voice is a little bad because we got all infected with covid and i've been 10 days like a uh, garbage uh, part of my french and i'm still recovering but i wanted to get this out because i'm gonna i'm gonna open a poll actually uh, on the channel and you can check uh, i'm gonna put all the mods that i've been the last six months i've been uh, testing and if anybody wants to to vote to see what you want me to to play next uh, i'm doing actually the thoughts the total thoughts the carlis the campaign i'm focused on that now uh, but when i finish that campaign if it is very short probably i will st i'm playing as the carlis uh, i will start again as uh, as the british but when i finish with that uh, i don't know which one to do so you can vote and maybe if you want to see the great war you can vote for this one i will leave links to all the videos i have also the empire total war the war of the spanish succession that uh, i did a video recently uh, so, uh, showcasing some mods for that campaign also the empire total war 1600 ad um, what else we have um at where we have well uh, oh the napoleon total war the pike and shot and the napoleonic total war 3 um 1805 campaign all of this with spain uh, all of them with spain because yeah i'm spanish and uh, i'm i was born here in santander this is bilbao santander when we around here yeah I'm natural of there. So anyway, with this campaign, what I would do is uh, follow, and episode two would be to continue and and fight for Lisbon. Once we take Lisbon, I really want it also because they have a college. So then I will be able to study from Salamanca and from uh, Evora. So two two uh, uh, technologies at the same time boom 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 and that's uh, very important so we can actually uh, develop as fast as possible and you know we have until uh, 1918 and then would be either uh, start the fight and try to take uh, gibraltar back to spanish dominion or maybe italy but italy is very powerful actually they are not at war with anybody i believe where are you italy 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 Italy, are you a main? Oh, they are a main. Yeah, Italia. So they, ha they are allies of France. Only France. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, and they're not at war with anybody. So if I declare war on them, France would probably join them. And they have all the, the machine. <laughs> They have a ton of regions, so their economy is actually pretty good. I'm trading with them. Uh, you can see here. And look at all the armies that they have. Two full stacks in there. Yeah, they are pretty well prepared. So this this would be a, a tough a tough thing to do. But you know, Italy was part of the Spanish Empire in the past. And could be something that we could go for. If you vote for this uh, campaign, you can let me know also what uh, objective would you would you like me to to pursue the first thing though would be to conquer portugal but anyway i'm gonna leave it here it's gonna be a short video and we are gonna finish with the uh with the naval battle that we had in here and then just the transport transport ship that will be at the end of the of the video i hope you enjoy it and uh uh, this is the, the by uh, by the way the version 6.1 is the last one that is uh, available there was uh, quite some changes um, in the mod i've seen the 6.0 i've seen uh, lord john playing with great britain for example and with germany and all that but i haven't seen anybody playing with spain and anyway if you would like to see it just let me let me know and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that helps a lot and is very much appreciated and please give it a, a look because i have a ton of uh, of stuff in the channel different genres and total war quite a few campaigns that are completed already and you can vote uh, the poll the poll that i will leave after this video is published because i know we are not going to be trying any any others uh, so far 
I'm gonna continue with the thoughts, the Carly's campaign, and maybe for a month or you know, until I finish the thoughts, actually. And let's see how many votes there are, and if anybody uh, has voted in there, let's see who wins, and if not, I will decide which one I'm gonna continue. But anyway, thank you very much for your time. Uh, enjoy the naval battle now to, to say goodbye, and please take care, be safe, and I hope to see you soon with the next video. Bye bye for now.
Admiral has fallen, sir. Now we shall see their true colours. 